Hello, I'm David Wamsey. This video shows you how to create those image swap on hover effects in Beaver Builder. This can be great for adding a bit of personality to your team profile pictures, where showing off products, and can even be used to create hidden Easter eggs on your sites. This is beginner friendly as we are only copying some simple CSS, but if you want a ready-made row template to just drag onto your pages, this is included in my free Beaver Junction plugin. Link is below the video. And if you want to learn more Beaver Builder tricks, then please consider clicking on the red subscribe button below. I think that's enough of an introduction. Let's get started. If you're not using my Beaver Junction plugin, you'll find the CSS that we're using here is contained at the bottom of this page, which I'll be linking to below the video. Here it is, there's very little to the CSS, and you'll also find that there is a link to a demo page. But I am using my plugin, so I'm gonna go over to my demo site where I have it installed, along with the light version of Beaver Builder. And if you've got the latest version of the Beaver Junction plugin, you'll need to go to rows, custom rows, and you'll find it here. I've already dragged this onto the page. And so we can see the effect. I'm gonna press P for preview so we can get the rollover effect without having to leave the editor. And I've explained here what's happening. What we're seeing here until I roll over is the images that have been set as background images in our columns. And then over the top of that, I have a photo module and the CSS is hiding that with opacity. So when I roll over, it's bringing back the opacity and we are seeing the actual photo. And I did think that there are gonna be those circumstances where you need to have your background column styling, and you can't do this in this case, but fortunately Beaver Builder has columns within columns. So here in the parent column, I have this black styling here, it could be a photo, and then in the child column, I have the effect over here. One other thing to quickly mention is that I've got a media query on this. So this effect is only working on desktop sizes and that's sensible because the hover over effect, which is only allowed by a mouse, only is gonna work on a desktop. So let me just quickly show you that. If I go and move this in, you can just see there that it moved to the different size. So you'll need to know that when you're thinking about doing the design, but of course you can play around and change that as you like. Now you might be wondering why I decided to do it this way round. Well, I didn't initially, but what I discovered when I did a hard refresh, I was getting a quick flash of the background image first, and that's probably due to the way that CSS is reading from top to bottom each of the roles. And of course, it's gonna depend on the size of your image. But I noticed there was a quick flash and I didn't really like that because it kind of spoiled the effect. And I was looking for other kind of effects for uh, teams like this. I created this one and then I discovered someone had done a much better job here. But it also revealed to me, as you can see here, the effect is somewhat lost. If I do a hard refresh here and my internet isn't the fastest, you can see that really that surprise effect it's kind of lost when you can see what is coming first. So really that's what I wanted to avoid. You can test it for yourself by doing hard refreshes and of course you can swap it around if you find that it's something different. Okay, well let me just show you the rest. Let me take this one and first I'm gonna go into my column settings. The only thing I really need to say here is that by default you'll probably have some padding and you don't want that, you want your image below matching it won't if you've got some pad in here. So everything has to be flush to the image itself. And of course, we'll need to add in our background image. And you'll probably want to make sure that you pick the smallest one, the one that's gonna match your image on the top. I mean, you can put in a larger image and it's just going to adjust because the column's gonna to adjust to the content there, but just so really just to have quick loading. Really, that's all I've got to say on this. Let's go into the photo module and just show you that I've got this in place. And we'll go over to advanced settings where I've got my CSS. And probably what you'll want to do for best practice is that you might want to take this out of here and put it in your main CSS 
file and you can do that by just adding in your own class name over here and then adding that to these two rules here with a space and a dot before the name you've placed above. And that's pretty much it. The rest is explanatory. So I've got this media query, so it's only working on the desktops and you can remove that if you don't want that. You can just take that away and the bottom curly brace. I've put all the notes in here. And as you can see here, we've got zero opacity on our image, on our module. And I could just go in here and if I go, I don't know, let's just put 0.5. There we are, we, we can see it below this if I change this. And then what we're doing here is we've got a little bit of transition. Now you can change this if you want it to be fast or you can just remove it if you want that changeover to be instant, which I think it was on the site I just showed you. So you can adjust that to how you like. And if you find the loading is different, then you can just swap these around. You can make that zero and this one, and then the effect is going to be entirely reversed. And I think that is all that I can say on this. I hope this video was useful. If it was, then please give me a thumbs up on YouTube and consider subscribing to the channel or even sharing this content because it really helps me. Okay, I hope to see you in another video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.